Computer chips, GPS technology, the internet. They change our lives in ways that we could never have imagined. Create a superhuman being. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. How do you do? We are about to unfold the story of Frankenstein, a man of science who sought to create a man after his own image without reckoning upon God. It is one of the strangest tales ever told. It deals with the two great mysteries of creation, life and death. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. I make intelligent machines. Machine, open your eyes. Nous allons pénétrer ensemble un monde fascinant. Ce monde est issu de diverses disciplines technologiques qui sont nanotechnologie, biotechnologie, intelligence artificielle et sciences cognitives, N, B, I, C. Ces quatre lettres peuvent avoir des conséquences dévastatrices sur la nature même de l'homme. Joue-t-on avec le diable ou serait-ce, comme le disent certains, une solution aux catastrophes annoncées To transfer your mind to a computer, this seems to be the ultimate dream of many scientists. To liberate us from our old body that is becoming obsolete in this technological world. We would then go on living as free spirits in cyberspace. Some scientists say that consciousness is just the computational process in your brain. We can just create the technology which will allow us to transfer our consciousness to the new body. Consciousness, consciousness. For James Lovelock, célèbre père du concept de Gaia, notre unique chance de survie viendra non pas de moins de technologie, mais de beaucoup plus de technologie. Reality and virtual reality are beginning to merge. To understand how this will occur, we have to look at one more technology slated to overshadow all other branches of technology. It's nanotechnology, the means of getting control over matter, atom by atom. Expand your mind. Expand your mind. Nanotechnology will open vast opportunities for all other technologies, in particular for computing. Computers, incredibly powerful, that just would let us put into a single sugar cube a computer that was more powerful than all the computers in the world combined today. Technology changes everything. Les philosophes transhumanistes soutiennent qu'il est possible et même souhaitable que l'humanité entre dans une ère transhumaine où les humains auront le contrôle de leur évolution. The ultimate goal is to create robots as small as viruses 
called nanobots. These nanobots will be more intelligent than today's computers. One possible set of applications is medical. Nanobots could be injected into the bloodstream as a kind of cleansing team to kill cancer cells, for example, or to carry out other kinds of maintenance work in the body, or even to modify the DNA code. Consciousness. Consciousness. Les questions d'ordre philosophique surgissent. L'humain est-il dépassé Et y a-t-il un mal à accepter ses limites naturelles Y a-t-il un mal à vouloir s'améliorer Peut-on accepter une évolution technologique ayant un trop grand risque de perte de contrôle de la société humaine Our future is not to try and hold back genetic engineering, but to try and use it in a way that best serves us. If we can, if our children can be more intelligent and healthier and live longer lives through altering our genetics, why would we not want to do it? I mean, imagine if other children could live for two centuries, and if you could only live for 80 years because your parents believed that it was improper to tamper with human genetics. You would not be pleased with that decision. S'il fallait résumer la philosophie transhumaniste d'une idée, la plus extrême, mais aussi la plus saisissante, ce serait celle-ci. Un jour, l'homme ne sera plus un mammifère. Il se libérera de son corps, ne fera plus qu'un avec l'ordinateur et, grâce à l'intelligence artificielle, accédera à l'immortalité. C'est alors que nous pourrons quitter cette planète pour explorer l'univers.